Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm excited to see what else this dungeon has in store for us. Oh my gosh, look at the variety is here today. And that is something to mention over uh, the Final Fantasy Legend. I don't think that that game had necessarily... Maybe it did. I, I haven't played much of that game. I just dabbled into it because I like Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games. But I'm very inexperienced in Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. It, it's funny, though. Uh, I didn't even realize that Dragon Quest... Uh, one through three, I think, are the ones that had like Game Boy Color ports, or maybe just regular really Game Boy. I forget what Ron was saying in the comments of my first uh, my Dragon Quest, the first playthrough. But yeah, that sounds extremely up my alley, and I'm so sad I never even realized that. I probably would have played two and three by now had I realized that information. On the stairs. Let's see what we got. Hello. Tell me, child, hast thou cleansed thyself in the wellspring of the hero? Hey, it's a good thing I went up there first, son. This is preposterous news indeed. May fortune attend thee into the end of thine. Oh no, prop. Okay, I was like, why is this preposterous? It's propitious. <laughs> May fortune attend thee unto the end of thine adventures. Can I like use your bed? No. Give me one second really fast. Propitious. Presenting favorable conditions. Favorable. Okay. That's all it. That's that's nice. I'm glad every time I play RPGs of any variety, I'm always learning new words. And I'm down for that. Not that I'll ever remember those. Like, if I can't even remember the name of a town, there's no way I could remember the silly word like that. But hey, the more I look it up every time I encounter it, the more likely it is to stick in my brain. And that's that's what I seek. Level up. Excellent. Strength by two. Agility by three. Resilience three. Maximum HP three. Still extremely dry on MP. Critical hits, they happen. Or maybe it was south of the wellspring that I need to go to? What's south of here? Where was Maidenhall? I don't remember. And as this is a world I'm not familiar with, I, as I mentioned it, uh, as I was starting this LP, uh, I'm gonna bumble around. It's not exactly... Any of this is not exactly familiar with me at this point. But I'm enjoying it greatly so far, so I'm, I'm excited still. Very, very excited. Look at this. A nice, beautiful purple donut. I didn't think that there was anything up there, and I would have been able to see it anyway, so... I knew for certain there was nothing up there, but I, I wanted to check up there anyway. I'm sorry. I also want to grind. Accidentally encountering enemies is always a good thing. Extremely good.
Also, I should do... Oh, heal slime. Hey. I should also check it for a map. Of course, it's doing the heal, as its name implies. There we go. There is a map. Oh boy. This place is a lot, lot more dense than last game. Where is my little cursor saying where I'm at? My brain's already lost. Oh no, it's the big extreme cursor. I was looking for an extremely small little feather pointer thingy. But, um, <laughs> guess there's no need for that. It's extremely big in this game. I don't know why they didn't do that in the last game, then. I guess it's because <laughs> that would cover up way too much of the map, considering how the map was kind of tiny in the last game. But, uh... Interesting. So I'm just, like, kind of a little bit northeast of where I initially started. To the west. I traveled... And then I went north. And then I went east, south, and I guess I'm probably going the right path then. That dungeon I'm about to head to right now is probably where I need to go. Oh, except I can't reach. I'm gonna need a rainbow drop if I wanna go over there. Why would I be attacking you? I need to attack this bubble slime first. Never mind, bubble slimes are actually extremely easy by now. So my trek westward, I guess, is about to unfold. There's really nothing else over on the side, right? I won't think I can go south of here. Unless if I was on the other side of the mountains. Maybe? Might as well check. It looks like there could potentially be a bridge on either side of the mountains leading to that south island, and then that from uh, there I can easily go back to the castle I started at, if that is the case. that uh, castle from this side, then I can easily just rest up and keep my medical herbs, medicinal herbs, and be fine. Make extreme profit. I'm already... Oh, I'm already rich. I can purchase things. I see that bridge I was looking for, so I'm guessing I can easily get over and across. Bye-bye. 30. That's pretty big. That's a big hit. Oh! Regular slimes can run in this game. Interesting. I wonder if that's just a regular slime thing, or if it's because I, my level is to a point where now that's a thing that can happen? I don't know. Wait, does it still stack the same way it should? No, it doesn't! Ooh! I was banking on it, stacking. Well, let me just sell it for four. 
I wasted four monies. That's no big deal. So medicinal herbs are not as they once were. Probably be attacking the slimes because it, that could happen. Oh, that's the end of that battle. So always fight the things that might run. That way, I can milk out some more uh, experience and monies. Mindenhall, the name of the first castle that I start at? Okay, sorry. I, I guess I was a little dumb on, on that regard. I <laughs> should have caught on to that. I'm realizing now. I, I I'm learning the name still. So, south of Mindenhall. This is the, one of those uh, places that I was told about uh, by that other guy in the other shrine. I needed to go south to this place, I think. I'm, c I'm catching on. And then I'll get... Uh, Maybe, maybe Paul's here, because then I'll be able to talk to the person and have a party in order to enter the shrine to the west of Kanak. The enemy are defeated. Well met, Prince. Long have I awaited your coming. Hearken unto me, for I have something to tell you. In this world of ours, will you find both gold and silver locks, and gold and silver keys to fit them? Okay, I was wondering why they were talking about silver keys and silver locks in the town of Kanak, and it's because this game is trying to be bigger, so they gotta bar you off from progress twice now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Seek first the silver key. Tis... Are... The silver key? Is that just like a single key that I can use on all silver locks then? I don't know. Especially that would make a little bit more sense since uh, things are not stacking the way I was hoping they would. So if there is only one key to have, that would be pretty nice and pretty dandy. I would be pretty happy about that. Tis secreted deep within a cave west of Kanak, girt all about with, the, with a great lake. But before you seek it, you must needs find a companion with whom to enter the perilous place. Should you be so cocksure as to venture inside alone, most assuredly it will cost you your life. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to take a gander at this silver key locked door, probably. I don't have the key. deep within a cave west of Kanak. So yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. Just wanted to make sure. I wanted to read that mentally instead of just verbally. Uh, I have figured out what's happening and I'm, I'm looking forward to that progress, but that didn't teach me about Paul at all. There's nothing else in this southern part of the island. I need to go back to that one place and find out where Paul went because I forgot. Surely he didn't go west. Up northwest in that like very n central northern section where the king's cobras or king snakes were around to probably kill me. I mean, I have definitely gotten a little stronger by now, but... Yeah. I'm going to stop by Kanak first, just... Because I want to get more equipment for myself. I want to see if my character right here is the character that can 
is a kind of a character that can utilize that dagger, or if that's just going to be for a future party member. Kill the slimes first, because they're going to run. They're going to try to book it. time I actually get to Paul if he's going to start really low leveled compared to me. I mean, I'm only level 6 right now, but by the time I find him I'll probably be level 7. Or undesirably level 8. Book it. Get out of here. I don't need you. Oh, I like how those two... Okay, never mind. They That was just how it happened. Those two that were having a lover's tryst walked together. Oh, now they're facing each other. But, like, they both step down at the exact same time. They both move at the same time, it seems. But it's still random where they decide to move. For the most part. Just looking at walking patterns. Don't worry. Don't mind me. That would also be very good. It would definitely be really nice. I'm almost wondering if... No, I'm definitely going to get that dagger. That's fine. It's probably not for me. No, I can. Okay, gotcha. I want to check out how much more damage this is going to do or how much less. So, a copper sword is 30, so it gives me two extra attack. And it's made of silver, so I can open <laughs> locks with that. I'm just kidding. But, uh... What should I do now? I need to go back over to... Place over in the northeast. Find out where I was going. Actually. <laughs> I was told not to go alone. Maybe I should try it. Just a little bit. <laughs> how far I can get before I die. Or they're probably not going to let me through, that's right, they have like those guards that are there to block me off until I have Paul. is west of that direction though. Maybe I can go up into the east and find that dungeon. Because there's not really else to check out with uh, as things are right now. So I'm guessing maybe Paul is over there just through, through process of elimination. Unless if he's back somewhere where uh, we've already visited, but I, I wouldn't expect that. But I wouldn't be too, too surprised about that either. Level 7, 6 strength, 2 agility, 1 resilience, 1 HP. Oh. have healing now. A couple herbs. So I might be able to get deeper here than I feared uh, last time.
Nice, thank you. Now I can kill you off. Oh no, you got the heal first off. There we go, dead. Let's kill the Cobra King first. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty fine. Oh, and immediately back to easy enemies? What? second it's a lot more open than I thought I thought there would be like something I didn't look too well at this map but these mountains aren't used to really block off or blockade off a whole section as much as stuff would be in the first game it's, it's kind of a lot more oh I, I've been poisoned it is a lot more open than last game So, I believe that that poison will linger on. Yeah. Voila. Back to good standing. What's in this cave here? Surely Paul should be in this cave. 38, nice, nice. Wait, this is a new type of rat. This is a fat rat. That's not a rat skull anymore. I was about to say, like, why am I fine? Hey, see the agility. Interesting. Now I have to consider who do I want to use the seat of agility with. I wonder if these bubble slimes can poison me the way that that king, Cobra King, was able to. Yes. Some fat rats. <laughs> don't stack either? Gosh dang it. I want to go this direction first. Also I like to say I have actually enjoyed the fact that see this there's some variety in this group. There is a bubble slime and there's also some fat rats. So whenever I beat it, it says the enemy are defeated. How... Oh, and that differs... Oh, Camaro Wing. I'll take that. Sure. If it was just a group of fat rats, it would say the fat rats are defeated. Oh, Somnol at Ant. No, he's done. He probably put me to sleep. I do not like the idea of that. See these heal slams. This is going to be a fight. This is going to take some time. down. But it's not going to say the enemy are defeated, it's going to say the heal slimes are defeated. Come on now, just cooperate. No! Cooperate with me. There we go. Yeah, 
that hurt. I'm I'm not doing very well. I need to make progress through here. I don't, I don't mind going down here immediately because this sounds like progress enough for me to find Paul, maybe. Don't poison me. At least uh, with how much I've been getting hit by these guys, I, I don't get poisoned often. Seed of life. One thing that is definitely superior, I, not to most people because a lot of people don't like menuing, is the menuing system does allow me to, you know, utilize something without moving away from the chest in the, the older games. Like this game, I, I, I wanted to equip something that I found in a chest. I'd have to take one step away, otherwise he would just get distracted and be like, yeah, I can't find anything in that chest. I've already looted that, you idiot. Can I actually flee? Well, that's not the type of uh, healing item. Oh, what? Magus, I would like to fight you, but not today. Dang it. No, 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 no. Chimera Wing, no thank you. Money. Overextending, big time overextending, but I don't care. They don't notice. Good. That means I should be able to run. Ooh, ooh. I knew it. Okay, that's the end. Great. Glad. Right as I found a cool key. And I do get sent back here into this castle, not Mightenhall, to Kanak. That'll be all for this episode. Next time we're actually going to be successful in our delving of that cave. This time was just a little uh, taste test, a little sampling of what is in store in that cave. And I already lost part of that sample, but I still have enough money to actually maybe get myself a chain... A chain... Uh male armor. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see you next time. See you then.